Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Hans Niemann and Jonas Rosna. This is a game from Greng Chess Tournament 2024. Niemann had white pieces and he started with e4. Rosna played c6, d4, d5, the Karo Khan defense, e5, the advanced variation, bishop to f5, the standard move, knight to f3, e6, bishop to e2, the most played move, knight to d7, and Niemann castled kingside. So far, we are seeing the popular main line, black to move. And there was a surprise. a5, very rare move. Knight to c3, a4, bishop to d2, a3, b3. Bringing the pawn to a3 square was not a major achievement for black, was it? Who knows? h6 was played, h3, bishop to h7, rook to e1, knight to e7, rook to c1. Neiman is not rushing with the attack. Knight to f5, bishop to d3, bishop to e7, knight to e2, Knight to h4, looking for the adventures. Knight to f4, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop. Black to move. Knight takes an f3, check was played. Perhaps knight to f5 should have been considered. Knight takes knight, check, but this only helps white to bring the better piece to f3 square. Queen to f3 was played. Bishop to g5, bishop to e3, castling, queen to g4, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop. White has a space advantage and better placed pieces. So, Rosa decided to trade the queens. Trading queens would make the life of the black king much easier. So, Neiman avoided the trade. Queen to e2, king to h8, f4, Queen to h4, rook to f1, rook from a to c8, white to move, and in this position, Niemann played very, very interesting move. And that is g3, offering the pawn on h3 for free. The offer was rejected. Queen to e7. Let's see what happens if queen takes on h3. Then one line goes like this g4, queen to h4, g5. So taking the pawn would be like walking on a tight rope on a windy day. Perhaps computer could survive with the black pieces from this position, but for humans it is quite difficult to play like this. Back to our game. That is why Rosna played queen to e7, f5, pawn takes pawn on f5, rook takes on f5, rook from c to e8, c3, c5, white to move. How would you continue? Demon played e6, c takes on d4. Let's take it back. What happens if f takes on e6? This is what Neiman had in mind. Knight to f4. And if rook takes on f5, then white simply plays knight to g6 check, winning the black queen. Back to our game. So we have c takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight to f6, rook from f to e8. This is known as the Alehin gun. King to g8. Knight to f4, rook to c8, white to move and to play the obvious and the obvious is pawn takes pawn check, attacking the queen, queen takes pawn, white play the move and black resigned and the move is rook to e7, the black queen is stressed up and she has nowhere to go. This was nicely played game by Neiman. What do you think of this game? And that is all.
I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. Then bye for now.